Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan. And today we're going to do a quick guide on where to find all of the bell bearings that get you all of the somber stones and somber smithing stones. Now for those of you who don't know, bell bearings are a special item in Elden Ring that you can give to the twin husks in Round Table Keep to unlock more things at their store. These ones in particular unlock smithing stones and somber smithing stones which are used to upgrade your weapons and gear. So I'm going to go through and give you exact locations on where to get these, as well as what you need to do if there's a boss or something in the way. And if you're looking for anyone in particular i have broken this video out into chapters so you can just skip right to it so let's get going and find all these bell bearings all right we're going to start with smithing stones and for the first one which will allow us access to smithing stones one and two you're going to need to get those in the rare lucaria crystal tunnel and you're going to have to kill the boss this first one you can get as early as the start of the game by heading up into lernia be warned that the enemies in this dungeon are a bit harder than the ones in the first area and you do have to kill the boss a crystalline entity not from star trek the next generation the trick to this boss is simple simply break his poise crit it and its defense falls. Once you kill the boss, you will get the bell bearing. For stones 3 and 4, you'll need to get a chest inside of a sealed tunnel in the Atlas Plateau. You can also technically get it from the start of the game if you have both halves of the disc that lets you get to the Atlas Plateau. It's here on the map, tucked away inside of a big crevice. This area has a handful of extremely obvious illusionary walls, and after the first one you knock down, there will be a chest on the lower level that has the ball bearing in it. You don't even need to fight a boss this time. Behind this chest is another illusionary wall if you wish to complete the rest of the dungeon. For smithing stones 5 and 6, you're you're going to have to have beaten the capital to get to the mountaintop of the giants. Once you are here, you'll hit a grace that is near some ruins. On the far side of these ruins is a not so easy to find stairway down surrounded by some enemies. At the bottom of the stairway in the Zamo ruins, you will find the bell bearing we are looking for. And lastly, the final ball bearing we can get that unlocks smithing stones 7 through 8. You'll need to have lit the forge in the mountaintops of the giants because then you have access to crumbly farm Azula, aka if the movie Twister were a stage. It's dropped by the boss Godskin Duo, which is unmissable while progressing through the area. Simply kill the boss and you'll acquire the final bell bearing, which gives you access to the last tier of smithing stones. That's it for smithing stones, let's talk about the somber ones. The first somber stone ball bearing is found by killing the junior falling star beast in the Celia Crystal Tunnel, which is that awful mine you get warped to in Kaelid here by opening the chest in the dragon ruins in the lake. This is not an easy boss early on, and the small arena makes it even tougher, so be warned. Keep your distance and kite him as much as you can, and eventually you'll get that bell. To get the second bell bearing, which will unlock our somber stone 3 to 4, you will have to get to the Atlas Tunnel, which is down by the junior Ur tree in the Atlas Plateau here. You have to finish the dungeon and kill the boss, which is a pair of those crystalline jerks you might recall from the regular smithing stone list. I personally would suggest killing the spear one first, as it always caused me the most trouble. The next one will unlock the somber stones 5 through 6, and you'll have to have beaten the capital and be in the mountaintop of the giants again. For this one, you just gotta ride down past the lake, on the far end, enter the church, and the ball bearing is on a corpse just outside the church. Pretty easy. To unlock somber 7 through 8, you have to be in the crumbling farm Azula, which again requires you to have lit the forge in the mountaintop of giants. This one is very easily found. It's outside of a grace near like the first third point of the game here. Just chilling on a corpse. It's almost impossible to miss as if you are being efficient and picking up your items. And the final bell bearing for somber stones is on a body in the temple on the northern side of the forum. This one's also pretty hard to miss. It's in a body near that altar of a church that everyone is familiar with because it's full of those dang furry awful demi humans that throw lightning bolts at you. Simply run up to the body and grab it and you will be good to go. And that is all of them. I hope this guide has been helpful for you to finding these. Be aware that you cannot buy the ancient dragon versions of these stones. These are the ones that upgrade them to their final tier. There are a limited number of these per run, so choose wisely when it comes to your final upgrades, but, but everything up until that point, you can simply purchase. And that's the end of the video. I hope this has helped you a lot. Please leave a like and a comment, and have a great day.